Welcome to Winescape TV. I am your host, Jitch Oatley, and we are here once again with Pierre from Simmersig Wine Estates in South Africa. We've been slowly working our way through these bottles, and we find ourselves now on the doorstep of the Chenin Blanc. Now, the Chenin Blanc, as Pierre was telling us earlier, used to be part of the makeup of the Cas Um and uh, now, of course, it's not now. These the Chardonnay uh, for the method Champagne Noirs, but of course, we are going to try the Chenin uh, as it is on its own in all of its beautiful glory. Pierre, tell us all about it. Right, so Shannon is uh, still by far the most planted variety in South Africa. We love uh, it. We I think love officially it. it's about 18% of all vineyards. It was the first wine we ever made under the Simon label in 1968, and it's still the most popular in our range. Um, specifically at Simon we've got uh, really good uh, shale soils. That, uh, there's a stretch of shale that runs through the property. And the shale has a higher clay content, with, uh, and that's, um, it absorbs quite a lot of moisture during winter which it can then slowly release back to the vines during during summer. Mm -hmm. And we find that the, the vineyards that are planted on these shale soils produce quite perfumey wines. With, uh, it's very expressive. Um, with the granite soils, they produce uh, big cabernets with broad shoulders and bigger tannins. These are perfumey wines from the shale soils, specifically for Shannon and also Pinot Dodge. Mm. It's really well. Thanks, so. well, it's, uh, it is It's absolutely delicious. You say that we have got that. Wonderful perfume going on. We've got some pear and kiwi, and <clears throat> just that little bit of honey floating on top as well. That little nectar, which I love in Chenin Blanc. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, we harvest uh, some of the Chenin, especially during the the later part of the vintage. We we harvest it has lots of raisins in the berries or in the bunches. So those um those have all these really ripe uh, flavors, which we then we put it into the and then it uh, it sucks up a lot of the juice. Okay. And then when you press it, you get all these uh, really ripe uh, raisiny, honeyed flavors. So the sugar is also a little bit higher than the than the Sauvignon. We um, but it works for Shannon, doesn't it? Just yeah, a little bit of residual sugar just 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 lifts it nicely. Because we want this ripeness, um, you uh, you you're picking with a little bit more sugar, and then we ferment that to just under five grams per liter, and then uh, so the, this wine has an RS of about four four and a half. Which is technically a little bit sweet for a dry category, mm -hmm. but it makes it really accessible. Uh, very nice summer wine. I would say this is definitely uh, one of those uh, wines. So specific this, this particular Chenin um, is great because it's one of those ones you can sit there um, <coughs> on your sort of on your veranda in the garden, uh, not necessarily in a car park that we've got outside, but uh, well, you could do if you wanted to. Um, but it's one of those wines which doesn't necessarily require food. As Pierre said, it's got that slight little bit of sugariness on top there, which is just coats it beautifully and as I said this is a kind of wine which I could uh, I could certainly uh, certainly sit with uh, all summer long I'd obviously need more than one bottle but uh, mm -hmm. cheers for that Pierre this is delicious mm -hmm. cheers